guys, so welcome back to this episode of Dorm Dining. So the recipe I found for today is going to be chicken bites. Now, they look good, they look very simple, so let's just go ahead and give it a watch really quick. If you mix Parmesan and ranch seasoning, you can use it to bread chicken, air fry it, and oh my gosh. If you mix See, Parmesan it, like, and ranch seasoning- Theoretically, it should be very simple. It looks like it only needs the four ingredients, the Parmesan, the ranch, egg, and chicken breasts. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go get that and we're gonna see how it goes. No matter where you're from, all around the world, We went grocery shopping for today's recipe and we went to Walmart once again because you know, you know your girl loves some Walmart. So what we got from Walmart, we got um, some Parmesan which was only $2.98 and then I had actually already had this ranch seasoning um, and I'll get a price check on that. We have some chicken breast which I got in a pack, also already had so I'm going to find the price check for that. And then we got some eggs, which were only 98 cents from Walmart. A cute little pack of six eggs because we're going to be making some breaded chicken. So obviously you need an egg wash. We're gonna get started. And we're gonna start with actually just opening the chicken. Um, however, there is juice in here. So I'm gonna go drain it really quick because it is low key kind of gross. If raw meat's not your thing, I got you. Give me two seconds. So now that we've drained our chicken, we're going to grab one of our handy dandy plates and we're just gonna... <laughs> that should not have looked like that, but that was kind of way too funny. We'll open it a little more. Okay. Working with, when you're working with raw meat, just as a general fact, try not to like put your hands in your mouth, especially with chicken. Working with raw chicken can be a little iffy because you know, diseases and stuff. So I'm gonna dispose of this right now. Okay, so now that they're disposed, we're gonna just set the chicken aside and actually we're gonna take off the rings because I'm not trying to get raw meat in any of my jewelry, because I would cry. <laughs> Promise it's not stuck, I'm just gripping it weird. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, this recipe is very simple, you don't actually have to measure anything out. What we're gonna do is we're going to take your Parmesan cheese. As you can see, she's fresh. We're gonna open her up. Give a little, um, depending on how much you make is gonna depend on how much you go in here. I'm gonna be, I said I was gonna be generous, but didn't mean to be that generous. Um, we're gonna close her up. Then you're gonna take your ranch packet. You're gonna open her up too. And we're gonna add this in there. Um. I don't remember the video what the ratios were, if there were any particular ratios. So I'm again, we're guesstimating. And we're gonna give it a little mixy mixy. Actually, we're gonna grab a fork because, you know. Not gonna lie, it kinda smells like Olive Garden. Why? So perf. Look at her cute little cheese ranch combo. Really did not mean to add that much cheese. And part of me is thinking I wanna add the rest of this ranch packet. Do I add more of this ranch packet? Yeah, I mean, cause what else am I gonna use it for, you know? Worst case scenario, I then just put this off to the side. And I'm realizing I could just probably do a little taste beforehand. I don't wanna I'm gonna get my friends to taste this, so we're gonna just do a little, don't mind me, but. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She's good, she's gonna be great. Um, 
Oh, I don't know why I thought that was gonna work. Might be, might be. Um, again, we'll play a game of Tay. We'll do the. She'll clean up. Every, she'll clean up later when she's done. <laughs> okay. Next, what we're gonna do is now we have to do an egg wash because if you've ever made like your own like fried chicken things before, not fried chicken. I mean air fried. Yeah. So fried chicken. You got a little. You got. A, you need a little bit of an egg wash in order for the seasoning to actually stick to the meat. So. We're just gonna do some eggs. Oh, already got a little bit of egg on my desk, but it's fine. We we love. Um, how many eggs should I do? I'm thinking I'm only gonna need two. Worst case scenario, for more, I'll add it after. You know what? Actually, you know what? Since I have two pieces, oh, y'all, if you have nails. Cracking eggs is gonna be, I'm, it's, I can feel it under my nails and it's kinda gross. But as I was gonna say is since we're doing two chicken breasts to make a nice amount of chicken because this is me meal prepping for tomorrow and probably the rest of the week. Okay, we're gonna take our nice little spoon. We're gonna give it a nice little, we're gonna whisk her up. Actually, I'm gonna pull the, wipe the eggs off me first. Remember, messing gets cookie. Cooking gets messy. You know what I meant. Um, I'm gonna give a cute little whisk. I don't have an actual whisk. And I don't expect you guys to have act an actual whisk in your dorm either. It's more, you know? Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna set that off to the side. Now we're gonna slice and dice our chicken. In hindsight, should I probably be like throwing things out as I go? Probably, but do we have the desk space for that? No. And I'm also in a room to myself. I don't, if you manage to get a room to yourself in your dorm, like congratulations, you're in a single, but not everyone has a single, so you know what? We're going, this is me proving that you can make everything on a desk, you know? Also, I don't have a cutting board, so we're going to pray that I don't accidentally like slice through my paper plate with this knife. Um, in hindsight, I'm thinking one breast will probably make eight, you know, split it in half and then you get four on each side. But you know, if you want if you want your nuggets bigger, you want your nuggets bigger. If you don't want your nuggets bigger, like this side is actually about to make five. So we're gonna So far This one is this meal is relatively really easy to prep. The only difficult part is that you might not have readily available is probably the ranch seasoning. So yeah. Okay. Now we have all of our little chicken tendies. And now what we're gonna do, this is the part that's important. Cover in the egg wash, throw it in the thing, and then they are gonna go in the air fryer. So this is an air fryer recipe. Um, I pulled my bowl tray out beforehand. That way you, I don't have to like walk away to go get it for you guys. All of these probably aren't gonna cook at the same time because mine is only so big. But we're gonna do a little little egg wash, rinse thing. We're gonna roll them in here. Do a little bit of ding, ding, ding. Perf. And do that for has ever how many can fit in your air fryer. If you like, maybe sometimes you get a, if you get a normal like six pack of nuggets from McDonald's, then one chicken breast is probably fine. If you wanna cook for you and your roommate, I would suggest doing two. Um, as you can see, um, my, it's like, I'm so tempted to lick it, but I'm not going to, because raw chicken and raw egg, that's a lot of raw bird. Um, it's just not for me, you know? Now, if we were talking sushi, that'd be a different story, you know? Who doesn't love raw fish? 
Okay, okay. And now we're gonna do a quick little wipe down of the hands. Yeah, no, if you're, if you have nails, be careful because uh, they'll get wedged in there. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is this is now gonna go in the air fryer at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. So we'll see how that goes. It smells good. They look not burnt, okay. Hmm, should I flip them over is my question. Here's the thing, like I said, don't eat raw chicken, but we're gonna pull them out because I don't think, I think it's cooked. Yeah, this is cooked. Yeah, so it is cooked. So honestly, I, if you want something like that's going to like look universal all the way around, uh, probably flip them halfway through, but Low key, should I grab a dipping sauce? If I, if you were a sauce, nope, that's not the question. If you were to pick a dipping sauce, what dipping sauce would you pick? I have hot sauce, an extra spicy sauce. Um, I have ranch. Should I dip Parmesan ranch chicken in ranch? Or is that too much ranch? I'm thinking we're gonna go hot sauce. Now this hot sauce, obviously it's not, it's not part of my Walmart haul um, because I got it from Dollar Tree. This is Dollar Tree hot sauce. And I'm not gonna lie, she's a little liquidy, a little watered down, but uh, it's not a hot sauce review and she still works. So we'll do a little dip on the side. Okay, we'll start with this piece. That's good. Please hold. She's really good. I think the Parmesan taste is a little strong. The Parmesan's a little strong. I think I would have preferred a ranch overpowering flavor rather than a Parmesan flavor. But honestly, I'm not mad at these. So we made the chicken bites. Now I did really like them. Rating in terms of taste, I would give it like an eight out of 10. Now, is this something that you can legitimately make in your room on a regular basis? I think so. I genuinely think so. If you have access to a fridge or a freezer, that way you have something to keep eggs cold and the chicken breast cold, then you should be totally fine. The little ranch packet, as you saw, is very like small and dainty, so it's not like it takes up a lot of space. And then the Parmesan, also just a very small-ish container. It's not like it takes up a lot of space, like a gallon of milk or anything like that. Um, I will say that when you do make it, your room is going to smell relatively strong wasn't terrible, but it wasn't the best. So if you have a roommate, probably not the way, you know, unless your roommate is totally fine with you cooking, in which case, go for it. And it does get just a little messy in terms of like your hands, but it's not like you're gonna be like cleaning up for like 25 minutes afterwards. It's very simple cleanup. So really the biggest thing, it's just a matter of whether or not you have the ability to properly sort eggs and chicken breasts. Now, when it came to actually cooking them though, in the video, it doesn't tell you to flip them. When I made mine, I did 400 degrees for 10 minutes, just like I said in the video, except you would pick it up and then the bottom side of it would look a little, it just didn't look right. Now that's probably because I did, I do line my air fryer with parchment paper. It just makes like cleaning my air fryer a little bit easier. So I assume if you didn't, have the parchment paper and the air is circulating a little bit more then you would get different results. But based on the results I got, I mean, everything still cooked all the way through. It's not like I was eating raw chicken. It's not like I was eating anything I shouldn't be eating. So at the end of the day, yeah, I would make it again. I definitely think this is something you can make in your room on a 
college kid friendly budget and as long as your roommate is fine with your space smelling a little bit like parmesan cheese and ranch for a little bit then you're all good but uh i'll see you next week when we try something new Bye. it's one unique one